Hello everyone and welcome to my first video of this new year, 2022. It's been a pretty rough winter so far, but I finally begin to feel how my energy is coming back again. Before we jump into the present week here in the end of January, I want to do a little recap of December. My plan was to make a video for you before Christmas, but wow, December was really busy. And also, it was really cold here. For two months it was mostly over minus 20 degrees outside, and sometimes around minus 30-35 degrees, and we had a lot of struggle keeping the house warm. I feel like I spent most of my December freezing and working. <laughs> there wasn't much energy left for doing anything else. When I feel constantly cold, I get very drained and feel lack of energy. But for next winter, we really hope to get some things fixed on our house so it will be easier to keep it warm. And December is the most busy month of the year when it comes to the work with our webshop. So we spent a lot of time here, in the old school in the nearby village, where we pack and ship all our jewelry. For two weeks we worked every day of the week until late in the evenings to make sure all the orders would be shipped so they would arrive to our customers before Christmas. It was a huge challenge, but we did our very best. And I'm so thankful for Adrian and Marie who worked so hard this whole month. We can always count on them and that means so much for us. It was an intense time and in the end of it we were so tired. But we also had so much fun during these weeks. I have the best team in the whole world. Do you have anything you want to say today? I'm tired and I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, crazy crazy days. <laughs> I'm so tired. We'll get through this. We yeah, we'll get it. through it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Sexy! <laughs> yeah, we're just happy. Can you allow us to be happy? You can be happy, just not weird. Glimmering <laughs> light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have... Woo! <laughs> Safe journey! Yeah, it feels a bit sad it's a bit sad because I don't know. I know what you mean. Yeah, when you've been working so hard for yeah, so long yeah. and then suddenly it's gone. Yeah, it's like now what? Now <laughs> what's what's life about now? <laughs> well, we can live again now. And then it got closer to Christmas, and as always, I try to squeeze in some baking and Christmas stuff in the last minute. Oh, I shouldn't be really it's some husmora. No, no, no. Yeah, go to your bed, you're so tired. Yeah. It's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. Without freezing, yeah, isn't that amazing? Now it's time to do a healthy summer drink with berries from the summer. This is called a saft maya <laughs> in Swedish. 
it's um, a thing you use to make a drink or juice or lemonade out of uh, your berries. I have put in lingonberries and in the bottom <laughs> there is blueberries. <laughs> blueberries. <laughs> blueberries. Yes, so blueberries I put in the bottom and then we have lingonberries <laughs> and then <laughs> This pile is a bit frozen still. <laughs> this is black currant from our garden. It's it <laughs> it has to melt down a little bit. <laughs> Big lump. <laughs> <laughs> so before I start, because I, I gotta put the lid on, but it yeah. won't work yet. Yeah. yeah. So it's gonna stand here by the yeah. stove. Rest a little bit. Yeah. You want, can, can you hold the camera for once? Okay. Okay. Oh my god, you How? guys, this is the first time you one is filming me. Yeah. Okay. Big moment. I just want to show how this soft Maya works because yeah. it's the most genius design. Yeah, it's nice. What you do is that you have this part first. Uh, it's like a bucket. You fill it with water. Then you put this thing in, which is empty. Here's where all the juicy stuff is gonna end up. And then you put this thing in, which is like, it has holes in it. When you start boiling, the steam goes up, up here, and makes, uh, it takes out all the juiciness and all the nutrition from the berries. And it's gonna come into this one. And we don't add any sugar to this. We just pour it in plastic bottles so we can put it in the freezer, because otherwise it would not uh, last for so long yeah so this is this is directly from the forest or i mean mm. not directly it's been in the freezer for <laughs> months but this is from our garden and the berries comes from the forest mm. and yeah i just love this with all my heart so i'm gonna make some nice and fresh juice now thank you for filming me how did you feel about it yeah it was okay yeah mm. you're not so much for filming and photographing no no, it's not your thing. No. You are more of being in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, my <laughs> talent. So look at all the juice that we got from the berries. Blood. I feel like we are alchemists right now. Yeah. We're making something that no one in humanity have ever tasted. <laughs> so this is the result. So many good bottles with fresh forest juice. I think it's gonna keep us healthy this winter. Good job! Good job, doggy. Yeah. early in the morning, uh, maybe 4.30 something, and um, I've been awake almost the whole night <laughs> uh, because I've been on a award night tonight. <laughs> maybe it doesn't look like it, I'm sitting here in my pajamas. As some of you know, I was nominated to the category of cinematography uh, in the Stream Awards, and uh, so tonight, the 11th of December, uh, was the award night online. I honestly didn't think I would win. So I was just, you know, lying half asleep on the bed, having the laptop beside me, just so I could kind of hear what was going on. Yeah, then I just saw, <laughs> I just saw my uh, a, a screen uh, from one of my videos and my name popping up and I just got such an adrenaline uh, kick, or what you say, like I just, <laughs> my heart just started rushing because I, 
I couldn't believe it. If you won, we were supposed to send a acceptance speech video within 30 minutes. So I just ran up, just trying to find something to, to wear and just, <laughs> oh my gosh, trying to make a video really quick and, and say thank you. I, I really didn't think I would win, but I did. And I'm so, so happy. I'm so grateful for that. I haven't even told you one yet because he was sleeping beside me. So I didn't want to wake him up. Um, so I, I just ran down to the living room to record the acceptance speech video. And now I wanted to tell you as well. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go to bed now and hopefully get an hour or two of more sleep so I am ready for the day. But it's hard to fall asleep when you're very, you know, excited and your brain is going like crazy because of happy thoughts. Thoughts. I'm gonna go up and tell you one. Yeah, bam. You did it? Yeah. <laughs> December ended in the best way possible, because one of the things that I'm most grateful for in 2021 is that I got new friends for life. Friends that feels like a family to us now. In my earlier video I shared when they came here to visit us in October, and now some of them came back here in the end of December to celebrate the new years with us. We had a couple of wonderful days together, and of course, we spent a lot of time in the water and in the sauna. <laughs> I'm going to prepare tea for everybody. Nice. <laughs> On New Year's Eve, we had a really nice dinner and we took a last ice bath of 2021. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! And then a new year began. And so far, January has been very beautiful here. Come in, Anna. Oh, give a fuck! Oh, look at Wow! Wow! So of a cat! the light January I love you light Sun <laughs> I don't I don't know my, my body is just exploding with like endorphins and everything good chemically because of the light the Sun is back the Sun is rising higher for each day now and it just feels so good to get, you know, a real bright day. Oh gosh. So quiet. The 
only thing you can hear is that sound. <laughs> that kind of cracking or shooting sound that you can hear is coming from the trees. Yeah, that sound. <laughs> that happens when it gets really cold quick and the trees kind of crack inside because of the cold. The first winter that I lived here, I actually thought it was someone shooting in the forest with a gun because it was so loud. It can really be loud sometimes. Uh, so I remember I ran up to my grand uncle, Tage, you know, <laughs> and I was like, there's someone shooting in the forest. <laughs> I had no idea. I had never heard that sound before. It's full moon tonight. It's so bright. It almost looks like a sun <laughs> because it's so bright. And I love to be out and take photos and film when it's full moon because it's so easy to shoot in the night. If it wasn't because of this strong moonlight, I would not be able to take uh, films as easy because uh, that's really hard when it's very dark. I think it's around minus 15 degrees Celsius right now. So it's getting a little bit colder again. It's been warm for a few days, but after this super cold winter, minus 15 degrees feels kind of okay. <laughs> Because, yeah, we've had around minus 30, 34 as coldest. Or maybe it was 36 one morning. That's really cold. <laughs> that's a bit strugglesome with the house and everything. So minus 15, that's perfect. That's like the perfect coldness. Because it's cold enough to make it really fresh and beautiful. But it's not so cold that it drains me because when it's around minus 25 and minus 30 my body kind of goes into hibernation or something I actually don't deal with that kind of cold so good it's like I get very tired and I freeze a lot like within my body I freeze it's like my bones are freezing so when it's like minus 30 I dream about Spain <laughs> A, a nice warm beach <laughs> and maybe some flamenco <laughs> but minus 15 that's perfect then I want to be here and nowhere else the year it's hard to move anywhere else than from the road because of the snow but Nanok he's a fighter <laughs> hey älskling vad duktig du är evening around nine o'clock and uh, it has become colder again it's almost minus 20 degrees outside right now I was gonna go to my studio to do some evening work but then I I heard a noise outside <laughs> a very familiar noise it's the uh, it's the ice um, I wouldn't say that the ice is singing because it doesn't uh, sound like singing anymore. It's more like a humming sound. Usually the ice doesn't do 
any noise in the middle of the winter, only in the beginning of the winter. But now we had uh, like a week with very warm weather, so the surface of the ice melted a bit. And now when it gets really cold again, it's freezing, so now it's actually making a lot of sounds again. I brought my lantern, because <laughs> I thought that would be so much more cozy than to bring the phone with a flashlight. I think this suits the situation much better, don't you think? And actually, this lantern is, is giving off heat, like it's warming me a lot. Okay, we're getting closer to the ice now. So the ice isn't really making any beautiful sounds right now because the sounds are so deep. It's more like you, how your stomach sounds like <laughs> when you're hungry. And the reason to that is because the ice is so thick now. The thicker the ice is, the, the deeper the sounds is. So the most beautiful sounds you get from the ice when it's, you know, just about to grow in the beginning of winter when the ice is really, really thin then you get this more singing sound from it. But I thought I would just record some sounds just for fun. <sighs> it's cold. It's really cold. I've never heard the ice make this kind of noise. Not so much as it is right now. I'm just so fascinated by all this. The moon is rising over there. It's a, it's a lot of stars. I can't really show it so good on the camera. I can make a time lapse with photos for you so you can see. Maybe I can just put it in here. Boom! And this freezing temperature that makes so much noise in the nature. Like the trees, I can hear them from far away making these shooting sounds. And then the ice, who is just, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's a very strange sound. It's like a big whale under the ice. Or maybe we are inside, in the stomach of the whale. That's how it sounds like. I just feel so lucky, so, so lucky. I'm sitting here out on the ice all alone. Like I, I have the whole lake all by myself. There's no one around. And I see the most beautiful night sky because there is no light pollution, except from the moon. <laughs> when the moon is up, uh, you can see less stars but then the moonlight makes it really beautiful as well. Ooh, my heart. But it's really fascinating. It's like everything comes to life. Everything is moving. So much going on around me. <laughs> oh, it's it's like, yeah, a little bit scary in a in a good way. I think the ice was cracking right under me. But don't worry, I I sit on very shallow water. I'm just by the edge, so I'm not taking any risks. <laughs> It's getting really cold, but I almost feel like I'm spellbound by these things going on here. I could just sit here and listen, but I think I should actually get back now, because I'm going to go to my studio now tonight. 
Yeah, I don't know. I felt like I had so many things that I wanted to say for this video. <laughs> Since we haven't really met <laughs> in a long time. But I can't really remember now what I was gonna say. Well, I really want to thank you for everything. <laughs> for being here, for watching my videos. Um, especially now because... Yeah, I won the Streamy Awards uh, in cinematography and uh, yeah, that just, that's really cool. <laughs> it's actually quite hard to believe how fast things have, you know, evolving for the past years. I see that you are almost 4 million people on on my channel now, which is Oh my gosh, you know, if someone would have told me that like five years ago, I would just drop dead. So many people. And I just really love that you are all from like so many different countries, like all over the world. If, you, if, <laughs> if some of you would like to, to write a comment and just share something about you, like where do you live? What do you like to do? What's your name? What's your pet name, if you have a pet? <laughs> Anything. It's just so fun to get to know you guys a little better. I mean, yeah, you're so many now, but I think in my head when I talk to you, I see like a bunch of 20 people or something, <laughs> like in my mind, that just sitting there and smiling. <laughs> but I'm really, really, really happy that, that you guys are here and that you're spending your valuable time here watching my videos yeah it, it really inspires me to to keep doing this because because yeah everything I, I love to do it becomes even extra fun because I I get to share it with you like for example this evening even though I would love to be just here all alone without cameras as well but to know that I can capture this and now go to my studio and start editing a video so I can share this moment with you I don't know it's almost like we experience it together and I really really love that technology <laughs> it's like a, I don't know like a trap but it's also like such a cool thing like imagine how we're all connected today like you can sit in the other side of the world and watch this the ice is cracking underneath me <laughs> maybe it's time to leave so i think i'm gonna go to my studio now because it's getting really cold i hope you have a good start on this new year and that you take care of yourself in this crazy, crazy time. I hope you stay healthy and strong. Yeah, we will see each other soon again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah! I'm sending you so much love and big, big hugs from this cold land. <laughs> love you! Mwah!